It's a reckless retiree here. And it's a uh, January 1st in the 20s. A couple days ago, I took a sample of my ash water, my hard ash water, which I would consider to be a mild lye. And I put this uh, aluminum foil in it, and it has dissolved to some degree. You can still see there's some in there. But I want it to dissolve quickly and produce a lot of hydrogen. And so I have uh, done a little research and the, what they say is you have to boil your ash water for half an hour to kind of activate things. So I'm going to take the water from my ash container my 55 gallon drum with ashes in water and I'm going to dip it out with a five quart I think uh, stainless steel pot and then I have to burn my uh, cardboard anyway my paper and my burn barrel so I'm going to prop this uh, stainless steel pot over top of the burning paper and see how hot I can get it if I can get it to boil of course it's ice water right now and uh, for it to heat up to boiling is going to take quite a bit but usually make some serious uh, serious what heat with a uh, with a burn barrel so stay tuned Okay, so you've arrived just in time. I'm putting on a pot of hard wood ash soup. And it uh, should be plenty for anybody who wants to come and, and try it out. Now, this is good timing because we just got done with Christmas. We did ours late this year so everybody could be there. So I have all this Christmas paper to burn. Bags and bags of Christmas paper and boxes to burn. So I'll have lots of fuel for this soup to heat on. And I was thinking I probably don't want to add paper to this fire if a bunch of lyish uh, steam is coming off of it. I don't know if it would burn you. The lye would be in the water. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe, maybe it would just be pure water boiling off. But anyway... I have a lid, so I might as well put it on here, right? So we won't be able to watch it. I'll have to take it off to check to see if it's boiling. But you may recognize this pot and this lid as to where I was making hydrogen before by putting uh, lye and aluminum together. The problem was I had to seal the pot lid and uh, it was difficult to do and had to be the process I was using had to be removed and reapplied uh, every time, and I just couldn't couldn't deal with that. So, anyway, I have another use for this pot, which is taking the ash water, making it into lye. So, I'm going to now light the paper. And the soup is now cooking. I've never had this recipe before, and uh, we'll have to see how it turns out. I, I hope, and I think, that this stainless pot shouldn't stainless pot shouldn't do uh, any have any problems on top of the fire. I've used these rods, these uh, pot hanging 
rods before for sub 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 uh, no supporting yes that's the word supporting the uh, pans that I put my water filters in when I melt those down so hopefully the mass of this pot the weight of this pot is not a lot higher and those rods get soft when they get heated uh, I don't think so I don't think I don't think it should get that hot so anyway we'll see we'll see it's all a big question mark at this point but I'm hoping by boiling this that I can have lye that will react with my aluminum better and then as I've said before but I'll say again in case you haven't seen my previous videos I uh, have the 55 gallon drum I actually have multiple drums I have this one over here that doesn't have a removable lid but it does have the openings the bungs as they call them and uh, so I might take the boiled lye and pour it into this pot this pot this barrel for storage until I get all of this boiled up then I'll put it back into this barrel with my customized lid with the aluminum dipping basket and hopefully I will have a system where I can uh, be start and stop and then I can feed the hydrogen into whatever into the uh, maybe the gas tank of a uh, emergency generator gas generator see if, that'll, if I can run the generator on the hydrogen I make. Uh, maybe into a catalytic converter, which I'm hoping uh, will heat the catalytic converter to, to make heat. Uh, maybe I'll use that gas to uh, heat up the rest of the lye instead of burning the paper. Lots of different ways to go on the reckless retiree. So, stay tuned.